In this presentation, we will take a look at payroll calculations. We're going to start off with the comparison of annual salary to hourly salary. This could be important when discussing and considering what type of salary to have and the comparison between the annual rate and an hourly rate. If we're given something like an annual rate of $50,000 a year and we want to break down, okay, what is that in terms of basically an hourly rate, we can take the $50,000 and then divide it by, and this is the key, 52 weeks in the year, rather than doing something like trying to divide it by 12 months. Remember that 12 months is going to be a little bit less accurate, and just because of the way timing is, uh, it's not perfect. That's why we have the calendars a little off, we got the leap years a little off. Uh, but 12 months is going to be more inaccurate than using the weeks in a year, which would be 52. A bit more accurate to use the 52. We do want to know that number for payroll calculations. There's 52 weeks in a year. That would give us the 961.54 per week. Note that this is rounded. It's typically going to be rounded to the penny when we're talking about payroll. Uh, and uh, so just be careful of that when you have it in Excel. Excel will, even though you see it rounded to the penny, use whatever number is actually in the cell when making calculations. So be careful there. If we then take that and divide by 40, the 40 hours in a week, that would give us the hourly rate of $24.04. Now, of course, if we had any kind of calculation where we had a $50,000 a year and we were agreed to work some other a number of hours other than 40, like 35 hours or something, then we can divide by 35 and we get our hourly rate in the similar fashion. So of course the calculation 50,000 divided by 52 weeks in a year gives us 961.53.8, right? Rounded to 54. If I use this unrounded number and then divide by 40 hours in a week, I get 24.0384, blah, blah, 24.04. So just be aware of that rounding.